Hi, I'm Hello. Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Likewise. Hi, nice to meet um, you too. Maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction. What can people expect from Madame Webb? Uh, well, she is a uh, female superhero. Her power is clairvoyance, and I would describe it as a psychological thriller. And um, I was really blow blown away by the film. Um, I guess, you know, it's not too controversial to say I'm not so, always so into some of the, the comic book films. And I was just so absorbed by this one. I feel like there was a really different approach here, like just the pacing of it, how grounded it feels, um, how much depth was given to Cassie as a character. Maybe you could talk a bit about, you know, what your approach was and, and if you wanted to bring something different to, to this Marvel film. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm always drawn to character, first and foremost, and, you know, genre is sort of second to that. And I thought Cassie was such a compelling character. And the power of clairvoyance was an interesting one because it was both terrifying and really exciting. And it also felt something more relatable than, say, flying or spinning a web or, you know, having a big hammer or something like that. So I found that that was a bit more relatable and there was an opportunity to really explore that in a cinematic way. And, and I think I always like to sort of keep things grounded and juxtaposed you know, if you've got this high stakes sort of like high action thing, how can you then balance that with the grounded nature of it, which I thought would be really fun. Mm. And for you, reading that script coming on board, was that something that struck you that this felt like it had, had a different feeling to it um, than some other uh, sort of comic book films, and um, particularly coming to your character? Mm -hmm. um, you know, what was your approach to Skill? When I first read the script, I was uh, blown away by the fact that it was different than the others. Yeah. As uh, as they said, it was you know it's grounded in reality. Um, it's uh, you can identify to the more easily to the superheroes in this movie because uh, the clairvoyance is great. You know you feel like in real life you can sometimes you fantasize in seeing things or feeling things or dreaming of some stuff that might happen and all. So uh, you get you know more connected to. Um, to this power as a, an audience member, I feel. And uh, the fact that it's a psychological uh, thriller, that there's a lot of suspense and uh, and still a lot of actions and heroes, uh, yeah, excited me a lot. And Dakota Johnson, I mean, we all know how talented she is, but I think they're just, you know, the real, the combination she has of being able to sort of bring humor and authenticity is just really brought to life in this film. Um, what was it like bringing her on board and, and working with her? Well, I was so lucky to get Dakota. She read the script and I think like all of us, there was a sort of a healthy level of intrigue, but skepticism and questions. And, and so we sat down and talked about it quite a bit. And for me, she was perfect. You know, I'd seen it in so many movies from a bigger splash to Suspiria, which I thought she was fantastic in. You know, she, that was a thriller. And, you know, her sort of performance in that I found so compelling. And, but she's also very funny. I mean, she's just done SNL and it's her second time and she can hold her own. And uh, she's such an impressive actor. And she always wants to find the truth in it. Um, but I think she also had sort of like a, a quiet excitement about playing something like this and, and that balance. And I said to her, look, I really want to keep it grounded, but it's going to be still a superhero movie. She still is a superhero. Mm -hmm. So, um, and so, yeah, that was, she was the, she is the perfect Madame Webb for me. And I feel so grateful that she said yes. Mm -hmm. And working alongside her, and I guess obviously um, there's that tension between your characters, but you know, we sort of keeping that up offset, or you know, how did you kind of build that, that dynamic between you? I, mean, I was really happy to, to know that I was going to make a movie with her, and uh, I like her as an actress, and she's such a nice person as well. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time on screen together, which made that specific scene in the diner uh, more exciting for me, and as a like. For me, it's uh, the climax of my uh, character. It's like this face-off tells a lot about the movie and uh, what would you do with such powers, you know? She's going to do good things and uh, my character won't. And uh, I loved it. I mean, it was like an acting scene between, you know, two actors and uh, we had so much fun this day. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that was a fun scene. Yeah. That's probably one of my favourites because I think it is that. It's where you get to really do character mm. and play with it in that sort of like psychological world. That was the most fun. It's really you two in a diner yeah. and us running around with a camera and a diopter. Yeah, that, that was, was so well directed was, as well and edited. Yeah. yeah. 
and coming to you know the the action scenes and you know everything is just so smoothly done and perhaps it is just you know taking a slightly different approach to, to the pace of things allowing scenes to breathe but then when the action moments come you know they're even kind of more impactful were there any bits that were like really hard to pull off I was reading that Dakota Johnson actually found out she's a pretty good stunt driver <laughs> Well, she's an incredible stunt. I mean, first of all, with stunts, I look at stunts as story. What's the narrative you're trying to tell? And I think sometimes stunts become so big and the stunt becomes bigger than the narrative. So I think what I tried to do throughout this movie and throughout all of our stunt rehearsals mm-hmm. was what's going on in this moment? What's the dynamic between each character? What do they each want to get? So it was keeping that narrative at the fore. And if anything became too stunty or too big, you know, or sort of like too much about the stunt rather than the narrative or the character, then we just reined it in. So, um, and that was a nervous line really to balance because I want to make sure it's a fun movie with lots of action, but equally I wanted it to always be driving the story forward. You know, and in terms of the driving specifically, you know, Dakota, I asked Dakota if she could drive because obviously she was a paramedic and she was, mm. we knew the opening, one of the opening scenes was going to be her driving an ambulance. And I said, can you drive? And she said, yeah. And I was like, oh, this is probably going to be like when actors say they ride a horse. <laughs> I see. And they get there and you're like, you can ride the horse here. And they're like, about that. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, uh, and she arrived and she went, yeah, yeah, no, I can drive. And I was like, okay. And she got in the car and literally she did a stunt rehearsal with the stunt drivers and she went driving around and she did a 180 spin and parked it perfectly within the bollards. And I was like, all right. Impressive. She can drive. Yeah. She's, she is an excellent driver and did most of the driving. And without her ability to do that, you know, the film wouldn't have been able to be shot in the way that it has because mm. to just see the car pull in and her get out, there didn't need to be a stunt cut to get the driver out and get the actor in. So she enabled us to to have that sort of cinematic technique across the board. And for you, did you have to actually practice calling on these ceilings or not quite? Of course I had to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I trained a lot for, I don't know, two to three months, uh, four times a week with a personal trainer, with the stuntman, acrobatics, choreographies, uh, wires. It was I mean, a lot of fun and uh, and a good uh, opportunity to to get back in shape, you know. <laughs> and it was fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. I liked it a lot. I did as much as I could. You did a lot. Actually. I did a lot. I have to say, I have to give I have to give <laughs> him modest. kudos. No, absolutely. You did more. You did a lot more stunts than the most because you were in there the whole time working with the stunt team yeah. as well. He he literally has been thrown up against the wall. There was <laughs> yeah yeah there was <laughs> yeah, that, you really were uh, you the were, you remember the scene? wire yeah. and you got pulled up against you did all that yeah did, I did, all, did that. all that I mean it's important for me to yeah you yeah. know to, to do it mm-hmm. you know yeah. And the reason I really felt like I connected with it is it's just got this amazing, strong female energy. And, you know, not just from the cast, you know, this you know, great dynamic between Sydney, Celeste and Isabella, also with Dakota. But also, you know, a lot of the themes that are coming out of it are about motherhood, about her trying to understand, you know, you know, why did my mum, you know, put me at risk and understanding her past so that she can find her place. Because um, she's sort of, you know, in her life, you know, not able to kind of fit in in a way with, you know, other mums, you know, having babies and things like that. That. Was that something that was really important to you to bring to the story as well? I don't think it was conscious in a way. I just think, you know, when I got the script and we started working on it, I just wanted to bring those things in. Those are the things that I felt I wanted to draw out of the characters, mm-hmm. you know, and I felt that you wanted... The film needed a through line where you were able to say, what is the heartbeat of the movie? And that was really about her, in order for her to understand the future, to really learn what happened in her past. And that was all connected to her mother. So it felt like a perfect way to sort of bring that, both the emotion and the narrative together. And obviously, without any spoilers or anything like that, you know, where do you think it's going to go next? Have we got something else in the pipeline to follow up the film? Or? If only I had clairvoyance, I'd tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, do you know what you're going to be working on next? Oh, yeah. I, um, I just shot a movie about, it's a biopic, about Charles Aznavour, who is an important French singer, a very famous, uh, the one who sang, uh, I don't know, she may be the beauty or the queen. You know, oh, yeah. oh, ah, you boy, you. Uh, not yeah, that's a nice. movie, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right, thank you so much for sharing all that with me. Thank you. I cannot wait for everyone else to see Madame Webb. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks so thank much. You.